Welcome to Cheerza. This is a short game where you explore a surreal desert. It's made by Kitty Horror Show, who also made Dust City, which I recently played and really enjoyed. Cheerza is available for free with a optional tip, and I'll have a link to it in the description. So let's take a look around and see what there is to see. There's lots of strange structures in the, the background. I'm in a fairly flat place, surrounded by huge mountains. And what looks to be a pyramid. Let's go to the closest thing and check it out. of the pyramid. You know, very, very faintly in the distance there, I think I see the entrance to the pyramid. I think I'll save that for last. Let's just take a look around. A little kind of... looks like abandoned and destroyed village. Some buried and broken old pots. Alright, let's go see what this thing is. Yep, that is indeed the entrance to the pyramid. Makes no noise at all, it's completely silent. Trees. Growing in in what? This isn't dirt. What even is this? They're made of the same material as whatever this stuff on the ground is. Six of us 
went to bed one night. When we woke the next morning, you were five. A new monument, stark and titanic, made from the same black stone which composed the pyramid, had grown up from the desert floor. No one spoke at all that day. My mother's skin was crisp and red, and she no longer had the strength to walk. I brought her water and bread, but I could stand the pain in my eyes for long enough to see. Five of us went to bed that night. When we woke the next morning, we were four. The black stone had risen up. Made out of the same material as the pyramid, he said, right? That's what that is. That black stone. This is that black stone, too. So these are creations of the pyramid. Each morning brought us a new structure in the desert. A new empty hollow. A new trail of footprints leading to the pyramid's great door. Those of us who remained would go to the pyramid. Stare at the door for long hours, pushing our hands and shoulders against it. But it would not move. Some nights I dreamed of the sound of grinding stone, the shuffling of footsteps, and an unbearable light. But if ever I woke, I would see nothing. There is nothing to be afraid of. My mother would lie without prompting, or cloudy fluid wet from her eyes. She knew what there was to be afraid of. What she meant was that there was nothing we could do. Oh god. Glitchy stairs. So right, I'll just jump my way to the top. Unless there's an invisible pathway, there's no way I can jump to that. Oh. There is an invisible pathway.
knew was my final day walking to each of the black structures, pressing my hands and lips against their cold stone, wishing them goodbye. They gave off no warmth, and there was nothing in their angles to tell me who they had been. I could not tell which one was my mother. The pyramid's incessant singing had clouded my memory. I was nearly blind from the pain in my eyes. I told each one that I loved them. And then I returned to the village to wait. Wait, these structures are made of... people? He did say every day a new structure appears, and also, pretty much every day, somebody disappears. I think it's time to go into the pyramid. I guess I'm the last one left alive. Black stone. So is this my fate? To walk into the pyramid and become another structure, another set of footprints leading into the pyramid, never to be seen again. Does it not want to grant me entrance? I feel a sudden urge to try to run up the pyramid and try to get to the very top. I actually have an idea for this. First, I do want to know if I actually can go up the pyramid, because that kind of sounds like fun. Oh? Oh, oh it's too steep, isn't it? Oh, it is. It's too steep. I can get going a little bit, and then I slide back down. Okay, um, hold on, let me try something and I'll be right back. Here's something. I was wandering around and I found another one of these things back at this place where I already picked one up. So is this a new one? Night has fallen like a stone. The door is open. I go there now because there is nowhere else in the desert for me to go. My legs obey the will of the pyramid, and the rest of my body is soon to follow. I'm afraid because I do not know what shape I will take. I wonder if my stone skin will blister in the desert sun, but the pain of the hot sand will still rise up through my foundations, and if these things will become a comfort or a curse.
What did he become, I wonder? That was really good. Nice and subtly creepy. It leaves a lot of stuff up to the imagination. So that I'm forced to think about what has become of him. What will become of him in his transformation? Will he die in the process? Or in some way will he be preserved? That is really disturbing. <laughs> that was really good. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed, and thank you for watching.